All right, folks, Craig Bikes here. This is gonna be a commentated ride. I don't do those usually. Usually I have music playing and stuff, but today we're doing an adventure I've wanted to do for a long time. And I've only done this on my previous bike once. So we're giving the good old Nitro a real off-road test today. We're down at Breslau Quarry. This place really captivates me and I don't know why. I'm really obsessed with it but we're about to ride out and find out. So let's see. So when I rode this on Blue Bessie, I had to walk this whole trail. I couldn't ride this on my old bike because it was a road bike. Okay, so there's a Safety Clean Chemical Company or something like that. Chemical Company there, and this is the way to the quarry. I've been wanting to do this for quite a long time and it is kind of scary so I can give up and run away at any time. There's no shame in thumbing the ride if it gets sketchy, which it will. Okay, we got some loose gravel up ahead. Try not to skid out on that. And I'm not gonna be going fast on this ride. This is a more technical ride. Really just seeing what my bike can do. Ooh. It's tough there. And look, I'm not a mountain biker. So people probably look at this and are like, dude, that's literally a flat road. And it is, but I'm not a mountain biker. I'm going down to uh, six on my pedal assist and I'm just feathering the throttle. There's some ancient quarry equipment or something over there. Oh, there's an airplane. We're right near the airport. Okay, I can see it. I can see the cliff walls. All right, I'm really gonna have to focus on this ride, guys. I'm not gonna mess around with this. This is definitely the hardest ride I've done to date, so. All right, so if I turn left, it goes right to the water. If I turn right, it goes around a little bit. So let's go get a view of the water right quick. And let's not sink my bike. Oh, there she is. There she is. Look at that. Oh man, I'm so friggin' glad I'm here. So awesome. I'm using certain techniques here. I'm just waddling. I'm waddling down this section. Okay guys, let's get a view of the water. People come here and fish all the time. They've got fire pits down there. Beautiful water, bet you could dive here. Bet it would be really nice. Yeah, look, there's some bikers down there. Good, I'm not the only one in case something bad goes down. I have studied this area extensively on Google Maps, but I don't know what to expect.
and I'm not sure if I'm in the right location for um, trail access. I think I am though. Or is this just a fucking cliff? Oh. Getting up here without fucking skidding out. Just a bitch. Oh, look at this drop. This stuff is so sketchy that I have to like scout it out on foot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can get up that. I can throttle my way up that. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. What's up guys? Yeah, <laughs> it walks for me. How bad on a scale of one to ten? How's the trail? It's like not too bad. some like, spots, you gotta get off. For yeah, sure. it's just a bit more slippery. You'd be much better with those tires than us. Yes, obviously. Okay, yeah, it doesn't go all the way around that way, or we didn't find a way that it goes all the way around that way. I've actually it's... studied it extensively on oh, okay. Google Maps. Yeah. So oh, okay. if you, you get around? if you go around that pool over there, yes. you're gonna come right behind Safety Clean. So there's oh. a path, there. but. You see those uh, like dumping things that yep. dump into the quarry? Yep. Those erode the trail, so ah. there's actually barriers that have been constructed. Uh -huh. Although I've been looking at Google Maps, which could be like five years old. Right, right. right. So I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm just here to explore. Definitely not doing jumps or anything. Ride on the road without a line? Oh, dude, I ride this thing everywhere. Really? I can, oh, I how can. How fast does it go? 40 is my max speed, yeah. and uh, I can do 30 kilometers range without pedaling at all. So okay. I can like get, I can ride for like 90 minutes full throttle. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna hit the trail. Okay, you guys stay fun. safe and we glad do. you guys are yeah. enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, be careful. Yeah, I'll be waddling. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this right here. Okay, so they turned right. I'm also gonna turn right. Look at these jumps, though. I bet the pros have good times here. I wasn't really expecting this, but, oh man, are you kidding me? This is so sketchy. At what point do you just say like, whoa, this is sketchy? Like, look at this, I gotta get off the walk. Look at that. Conquering with this thing. How do you trail with this? And of course I wore pants today thinking that would be a good idea. Wow, okay guys, this trail is insane. This is so sketchy, bro. This is like just driving down a cliff. Look, my brakes are really good though. See, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. There's broken glass too, of course. Okay, this looks rideable. I was hoping at least for some dirt road like this. Okay, so it would have been way smarter to take that long way instead of what I just did. So on the way out, I'm going to take that. But this is what I was looking for. Yeah, this is trail. This is trail ripping. I'm not going fast, bro. Fuck that. I really want to experience this place, too. 
Okay, this is where there used to be something on Google Maps and it's burned down. This way is not a good way. There used to be a building right there and clearly someone burned it down. Ooh, fuck. Yeah, this is not a very good path because of where it leads or doesn't lead. I love that quarry though, man. That water just looks so good. Let me just check my camera while I'm stopped. Here we are. What an adventure, dude. Not sure about this. Not sure about this. But I do know where this, this way goes. I've looked at the map a lot. I know for sure this goes all the way around. It's like, or not, it leads to a fucking little, uh, little campsite. So, okay, I was wrong. And I didn't bring my extra phone, so I can't look at the map without uh, turning off the camera. So I guess I was wrong. This must be the only way then. I swear there was a way around the last pool here. Yeah, so I'm really like sketching hard about the terrain. <laughs> it's, it's really testing my skills. Like look, sand, it's gonna skid, okay? does look familiar. Yes, okay, a rock bleed way through the two. Wow, bro. I'm gonna step up for this too. Wow, I can't believe I'm here. It's really cool. It's also really, really warm, especially with pants on. Good thing my bike has AC. Ooh, there's a green pool here. This looks so incredible. Look at this. What an amazing place. Ooh, there's a metal thing over there. I really like these quarries, man. I don't even know why. Let's check this out. Is that a bridge? Okay, this one looks incredibly sketchy. Damn. All right, guys, I gotta pause the video for a second and check my map. This is too sketchy. Okay, folks, looks like this is only partially into the quarry. There's actually more up that way, so we're gonna go there. Get up this hill. Those are fun. So if I'm correct, there's like a homemade enduro park in here. Yes, 
Yes, dude. Yes, dude. That's it. That's it. I'm not going through here. It's too sketchy. But look at that shit. Look at that little island, bro. This is so cool. I'm really learning how to feel my bike too. Like I just slid down that hill and backwards and it felt perfectly natural. All right, this is it. Look at this, dude. Yes, this is the Enduro Park. I'm actually discovering stuff that I've never seen. Look at this. Yes. Dude, this is what I was looking at. I wish I would have brought my bike phone, but oh, this is sand. I gotta be careful, this is sand. This is loose sand. Dude, I can't believe this. So there's all kinds of enduro that can be done here. Okay, this sand is incredibly loose and sketchy. Like for example, my bike will probably fall over. Oh no, okay, okay. Dismounting to take a look. Okay. Okay. Look at that. I gotta stop my camera and grab some pics of this. How, where's a good spot though? Maybe just down there with the with the water in the background and volt bike right there. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna get down there. Fucking bug in my ear. Fuck off. So if I wanna go down there, it's probably right around that corner. I'm on loose sand. Okay. Yep. You can just follow these tracks. I'm doing a lot of waddling, bro. I'm not even ashamed to admit that. You gotta start somewhere, right? This is the most technical excursion I've done so far. Oh, sketch, sketch, sketch. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yup, yup, yup. More sand. Very loose sand. Very slippery sand. Sorry if I'm being annoying. I just want you to experience what I'm experiencing. Yeah, we're gonna take some pics down here. Loose sand. Look at this. Okay, here's the spot. We got a fire pit, classic. We got loose sand and we got, look at that. So up there, you see that tube? That tube and others like it are causing erosion where the, the road falls into the water. Okay, so that's a bit sketch. There we go. I gotta do this. Okay. I'm gonna grab some photos here, like this. All right, guys, I got some pics. Probably should have checked the map too, but let's see how warm the water is. Not that I'll go in it, but look at this beach though. And fish. Ooh, the water feels friggin' good, bud. Look at these fish. I would swim here, for sure. 
I would almost consider getting into free diving just to swim and dive and snorkel here. It might be a bad idea. It might be a great idea. And I know that people do regularly swim here. Could be sketchy. I'm not saying it's a good idea. It could be really dangerous. But I know people do uh, swim here. And they obviously come here to camp and stuff. So, I'm at the far pool, and up there is a road that leads back, but I have no idea how sketchy it is. Let's just see how much we've done. Not even, not even 15 kilometers. We've only lost one bar of battery. We're at 11.2 kilometers, so I'm not worried. Does this lead back? Probably not. Oh, that's my phone mount, by the way. If you hear a jangly sound, it's not the bike, it's actually the mount for my phone because there's no phone in it. This bike is not janky like my old one. Look at this pile of sand. Oop, sketchy rocks. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Training wheels, training wheels, training wheels. Okay, okay, slow it down. Right here, up this hill. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. Yup, sliding a little bit, sliding a little bit. We're good. Okay, the question is, is this road completely blocked off? There's a red sign that probably says, don't go through here, you'll cause a landslide and die. Okay, slow it down. Okay, I've got a safe exfil to the road right there. So if I don't want to go all the way around, I have seen pretty much the whole quarry and I do have a safe exit here, so I may take advantage of that. Now listen, let me let me just let me explain something right quick. I realize this is not a very technical or dangerous ride I'm on right now. But I'm someone who really cares about safety and I really value my life and my bike. So I'm not going to mess around with anything that's even remotely dangerous. Like for example, oh cool, for example, I could easily roll an ankle and be stuck out here. I could easily get heat stroke and die. So I'm not going to just like, oh this is nothing, let's go bro. No, I'm taking this seriously. Okay, here's what I'm talking about on the map. This bump might be here for a reason, and I'm going to check before I jump. Look at that. Yeah, I'm not no fucking chance. Not a chance in hell. Look at that. Look at this. Well, okay, that's not that bad. But it looks like there's a road down there too. I just don't trust this at all. Look how fucking steep that is. Yeah, I'm not going to go there. Definitely not. Maybe I could do it on foot? Because I could easily get back up, but I'm just like, is that the sketchy area or what? You know what? There's people following me too, so if I need help, I'm good. See, look, she starts skidding, which is fine. I got hydraulic brakes. No way I would ride down this. That would just be death on this rock right here. Listen, I know for a fact I'm gonna watch this ride later. I don't know if anyone else will. So I'm just speaking my mind for my future self. Huge bump there. Yeah, so look, some of this is eroded pretty bad. Like here. 
this is exactly what I was talking about. Look at this, bro. Look at that. Total erosion. Landslide waiting to happen. But this will lead me back out to Breslau, where I was. Sketchy. Sketchy, slippery, slidey. Oh! Sunken shit! My favorite! Look at that! Dude, I love my little shit in water. It looks awesome. Don't fall over. Look at this, look at this. Check out this ride video. Just do this. Check out this. Dude, there's something sunken in there. There is some metal thing underwater at that island, I swear. It looks awesome. Okay, well, let's keep going. Let's keep moving. Stay ahead of these folks. So I could turn right away from the water towards the fence line, or I could go this way back towards where I came. Yeah. Yeah, this is the trail. There it is. Look at those barrels, man. Look at that. I don't even know why, but I just love it. It looks so out of place and yet serene. It just looks so good. Look at this rock. Wow. Wow, man. Now, if I was a gambling man, I might be willing to hit some of these jumps. But I'm not. So I'm pretty sure that leads right back to the entrance. Wait, this is where I was. Isn't this where I was to start the whole thing? Isn't that the thing I rode down was like, whoa, dude. Yeah, I did it. I circled the quarry and survived to tell the tale. Wow. What a crazy little place this is. So what's straight? This is the road I already took. Yeah. I already did this. Yeah, and then there's a the little island. Wow. Okay, guys, I've figured it out. I've got the quarry mentally mapped. And now I know how sketchy the terrain is. Incredibly sketchy. So I think that's it for this ride. I might have to take a few vertical videos because I've still got a lot of battery in the tank. So I think I'm going to flip my phone and get vertical while I'm here so I never have to do it again if I don't want to. So... Thanks for watching this incredibly crazy ride. I'm really glad I got to do it. Maybe I should have stopped the video somewhere where you could actually see water, but. Okay guys, I'm recording my quarry exit, mostly for my own safety, but this should be fine. I realized I was not even halfway out of the quarry and I stopped filming and I realized I need to film this, so. Let's see. Yeah, not sure about this, honestly. What's up, boys? Hey, what's up? Not much. <laughs> Looks fun. That was fucking awesome. Let's see, come on, up that hill. Fuck yeah. Look at that. Nitro doesn't give a fuck. Damn, dude. Nitro just crushed that hill.
sand. You gotta be really fucking careful on sand. Sand can be worse than ice sometimes. That route sucks. We're gonna take this one. connect to it but let's go this way wait one of these leads somewhere weird one of these leads down to the river and not to back to the quarry Woo! look at that you see that <laughs> I almost came out from under me because of all the sand that's what sand does bro I almost see it out hard there. Well, I've got my technique figured out now. It's a waddling technique. Nice. These are soybeans. there so they know that people come in here they're not stupid so it's not like illegal to come in here all right free way back home bud free riding back home this is still sketchy as fuck though this terrain is not what it looks like it looks smooth and hard, it's actually sketch. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, up here it gets real sketchy. It, it's trying to lull you into a false sense of security. That's why I'm going so slow. It wants you to think, yeah, just rip it fast, like right here. Which side do you want, left or right? You want the wet side or the dry high side? Taking dry high, bro. Look at that. That's probably way more muddy than it looks. Yeah, look at that mud. You're going to get stuck in there for sure. I mean, I could pull my bike out because it's only like 80 pounds, but still. All right, guys. That basically concludes this commentated ride. I can't believe how awesome that place is. I've still got tons of battery to get home. I'm not worried about that. Woo! Almost went a little rut there. Almost got wrecked. Almost got rut wrecked. Okay. Here we go. I'm out. This is sketchy too. This gravel. It's not very forgiving. So that's probably the truck those guys brought their bikes in on if they didn't just ride them here. Chances are they did just ride them here. If I lived over there, I'd be riding dirt bike in here. See, look, another way that the e-bike can do things that other bikes can't. My bike can handle the trail that I was just on. You saw it. You saw what this bike can do. But guess what? I'm about to just go hit the road and drive on city streets and drive back to my comfy house in the city right after I was just ripping trail. Do I need to load this thing onto a trailer? No. Do I need a license? No. Do I need a permit? No. Do I need special training? No. Practice is good, but you don't need anything. I can travel around the city, I can hit the trails, and then when I want to, I can hit trails like this just as easily. Volt Bike Nitro, best thing I've ever bought amazing bike would recommend to anyone under 510 okay look at that back on city streets now why is gub doing 
man. Okay, guys, I'm not going to film the ride home because I need to use the thing. Ah, I'm not sure I do, honestly. It's a pretty sketchy ride, though, to be totally honest. That's why I was going to stop in this shade here. Because I'm starting to get a little bit of a sunburn, I think. Oh, there's someone here. Hi there. Yeah, I'm going to end my ride, my video here.